Hello, Sadiq Hussain here from Pixel Pushers YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing an iPad version uh, video tutorial on something we did for the desktop version which is creating a custom brush for a signature, a watermark or a copyright symbol. Okay, so the first thing we want to do on the iPad version is press the plus button on the top right. We want a new document and in the new document we want those settings there and uh, landscape mode and we want to have a transparent background. Make sure it's a photo paper and explain that as I go. And on this blank no background photo paper, uh, photo quality document because we want to apply it on all sorts of files we want to create a brush so use the text tool just draw roughly the size you want it and uh, let's say we want it to say copy right and then a date 2022 and and then don't worry about the slight color difference, that's okay. And click on the resize tool, resize and move. And that allows us to resize that, move it to where we want it. And once we're happy with that, that selection is what we're going to save. So click on the, um, uh, touch the uh, uh, document options on the top. And we want the third one down, export. And when we're exporting, we want to make sure that we're exporting it as a PNG, not as a JPEG. So make sure top left is selected, which is PNG. Give it a title, obviously. Um, so uh, let's call it um, Signature 2022, uh, 22 rather. We don't want the whole document. We want just the selection area okay and then just press okay that will save that now it will take you to the folder structure of your ipad and obviously choose an appropriate folder i've already created a folder called brushes you can do that with the symbol on the top right here um but uh, if you haven't done create a folder first and then put it in there so i'm going to put it into that first folder called uh, brushes okay and once we once we um, have saved that, we want to create a brush now from that. So that on the studios, the third one down, you've got the brushes uh, studio and you've got the little hamburger symbol at the top there. And we just want to um, touch that and uh, add a new category if you haven't already done so. So add a category. He calls it brushes, but we want to call it um, a rename category. OK, so we'll rename that and call it, I don't know, let's call it 2022 copyright. Whatever you want to call it, click OK. Now we will, we want to, um, that's the category. We want to press that, those three bars again, and we want to import an image brush at the bottom, create a new image brush, one from the bottom. Once we've done that, it actually defaults to that folder, but this is where we start. We know it's in the Affinity folder. We know it's in Brushes. Oops. We know it's in Brushes. And which one is it? Is it the very first one that we've created? Or is it... Um, so it's this one here, that signature one. Okay. And we just want to make sure the spacing of it is quite wide. I'll explain that in a moment. So the spacing parameter changed that. We could change the size of it, but we actually we can do that later. Click OK. And what we want to do is apply that to a, um, a new image. So open up a new image. Let's say we open up this squirrel. OK select the brushes tool on the left hand side and make sure that uh, on the layers panel that we add a new pixel layer plus pixel layer that allows us to independently control the signature we put on it okay so push that one away and if we go to the brushes palette there we go to the category that we created uh, what did we create? We created it 2022 copyright, 
and within that there's one brush only so select that brush and the width is that's quite large that's fine and opacity that's all okay um, that's good and all we do is if we just touch now there we go so that's the symbol that we create and we can obviously touch it and that means that's putting it in there as many times as we want to okay um, that was the history palette that popped up now if we want to move it or resize it we just press the move and resize tool and that allows us to move it and of course because it's on its own separate layer there on that pixel layer it means that we can add special effects to it on the so on the pixel layer for example if we click on the layer uh, uh, effects we can change the uh, the opacity of it okay not only can we change the opacity we can click on the effects we can click on uh, color overlay press that and change the color and that that allows us to change the color of that symbol if we want to maybe we want it to be um, a kind of a gray color say something like that okay so whatever changes we can make normally to any other layer we can do it to this copyright symbol layer as well so that's a quick uh, tour on how to create um, a, a brush source file to um, create a brush tip change the parameters of the brush and then of course apply it on a given photograph and if you need to apply the same thing again and again on multiple images over a long period of time then creating a dedicated brush is really useful and of course you can substitute that text for anything you like it could be a symbol it could be a graphic it could be um, a handwritten it could be um, a logo anything at all and but the principle will be exactly the same okay thank you for watching do give it a go do subscribe and leave comments and like the video if you found it useful it all helps to get the channel noticed and the more feedback i get the more i can cater future videos to the needs of the viewers so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time